What's up guys, Jay here, Jay Media One. Today we got another cool product to review. Today we got the GoPro Hero 11. And this is the latest and greatest GoPro. We know a lot of you love GoPros. We just did a video on the GoPro Gimbal. So be sure to check that out. We will leave a link for you. Anyways, let's get straight to the unboxing so you guys can see what this thing looks like. Let's go. And this is it. It comes in a package just like this. You just got this brown paper out here. We're going to rip that off. Some GoPro stickers on it. That's it. That's the first look. This is the Hero Black. And this is the 11. This is the newest version. Comes in a box just like this. It says it's got the, some really cool features. This is waterproof, as most of you know up to 10 meters it's got voice control which is very cool slow motion data overlays it does have time warp it does live streaming up to 1080p you got super photo hdr and raw photos we got a gp2 processor in this guy it's got webcam mode and it has got mod ready so this is what it looks like in the box pretty neat packaging not terrible i'm going to pop it out here and we're going to get to the case so this is the gopro case which looks really good it's got a zipper on top, so we're going to unzip that. Your camera must be updated before you can use it. As most of you know, we already have a GoPro Hero, but we wanted to show you guys the latest and greatest, and this is it. So we get, before we get into the application and all that fancy stuff, we're going to show you the GoPro itself. And so inside of the box, it's got some reading material up here, most likely a quick start guide. So it shows you get the app first with the QR code, um, open the door, put in the battery, put in the SD card, um, get your power charger hooked up, shut the door, turn the power on, and you're good to go. This thing's pretty easy to use and pretty easy to set up. So it makes them a very valuable camera. The fact that they could shoot at 4K is pretty impressive. What I like most about this one is there's a display on the front here. The other one has a display, but it doesn't actually show you what you're filming, whereas this one will. So inside here we have our battery. You guys are super tiny. And it is uh, about the same as the other batteries. The other batteries are blue, but they look just like this. So it's got this little curve here, and that's where it's going to be able to slide in only one direction, which is nice. And then there's this tab on top, and this tab on top allows you to pull it out of the slot real easy. So that's nice. We got that. We got our regular mount. As most of you know, GoPro already has a setup to where this just slides right in. So once you bolt this down to your GoPro, it's going to slide in. This is our sticky mount, so it's got 3M tape, which is double-sided tape on here, and that allows this to slide into this mount. We also have our knob inside of here. This thing's kind of tucked down in there. But once you get the GoPro in this slot right here like this, you just put this screw in there and it holds it down tight. It also allows you to reposition it and put it wherever you like. So here's the GoPro. You can see that the lens is covered. It's got a plastic material over top of it. We're going to pull out the recyclable packaging. So you can just set your GoPro in here like this, or you can put this back inside and have it all nice and neat and slotted, which I like. The case is nice. It comes out with a nice material inside of it. The top part just allows you to put your SD cards and your accessories and things like that inside of there. GoPro is packed full of accessories. They've built so many of these things. I've, I've seen packages in the 500 plus range of different items that you can get to mount this on your bike, your helmet, you can even mount it on your shoe. Uh, there's lots of 3D printing sites out there that allow you to mount it in those ways as well. GoPro is a big deal for those that are out there in the adventure world that like to go kayaking or jogging or, or biking. You can take this with you and kind of film all of your stuff. It's got really good stabilization as well. So this is it. We're just going to pull off the white paper here. We got a lens cover right here, which is nice. Keeps it from getting scratched up. And another cover right here as well. Underneath is where the tabs are that pop out. These little tabs pop out just like this. And then this can be used to mount it wherever you like. So different orientations and things of that sort. So basically you just unscrew this. You slide it inside of the mount like this. Just get these two little legs inside of here. Then you run your screw back through. Make sure that it's lined up. Tighten this down just like that. And then you're good to go. Now, like I said, it allows you to reposition it. So you can reposition it, tighten this down 
get it to where you want it to go. But before we mount it, we need to make sure that the door opens on the side here because that's what's access to everything. So we have our USB charger inside of here that's USB-C, which is wonderful. And the battery only goes in one way because if you look down inside of here, there is a little slotted area and you can see some pins down inside of those. Those pins are going to fit right into the battery just like that. What I like to do before I even do any of that is insert my micro SD card. So I like to store my micro SD cards in these adapters because they're super tiny. I mean, a micro SD card is so little that they're easy to get lost. It looks like this. So I get these 128 gigabyte cards just because they're cheaper. When you start getting into the uh, terabyte range, they get up in price a lot. They get $150 or so. So I like to get these 128s because the 128s can hold about four hours of 4K footage, which is good enough if I get multiple I, and I end up overshooting that, then I can use two or three of them. Um, GoPro tends to split in, uh, videos anyways into about eight to 10 minute sections. So that's okay for our use case. So the SD card just goes in here just like this. You do have it to face it the right way or it will not go in. So once you get the SD card in, and this is a brand new one, so it will format itself. We're going to slide the battery down inside of there. Make sure that that fits in tight. And then they give us this USB-C cable to charge it all up with. And they're still doing USB-C to USB-A. I guess it's the most popular type out there right now. Okay, guys, so you can't put the battery in the wrong way. You can, but if you do, this door is not going to shut, so it kind of lets you know that. So you want it to be in the right way. When it is in the right way, the door does shut. It's got this little clip on here that locks it down and into place. And so it does say we have to update this before we can use it, but we're going to power it on so you guys can at least see what it looks like. So it's firing up there. It asks us what language. We're going to say English. We're going to agree to the legal stuff. I like to leave the GPS turned on. Um, it tags your footage with the location speed and the altitude, which is kind of cool. We're going to leave it on. Then it's going to do an SD card check, make sure that there's enough free space required. It's going to do a battery check for 20% battery life or 10% when connected to power. We're at 19%, so we're just under the threshold, so we need to connect this to power. Okay, so it shows that the update's done on the GoPro. It's still saying that it's installing on the phone, so we're just going to let that go. But it says easy control, so swipe down to change the pro controls in the dashboard. So you can swipe down there, and there's our controls. So you got lots of different options here. Okay, guys, so we're out here filming at the exact same time with the GoPro that you're seeing on here. And what's amazing about this is that it is just amazing with stabilization. So you can see right here, this is how much I'm bouncing this thing. Okay. And you're also looking at the footage from the GoPro itself right now as I'm bouncing and shaking it back and forth. Just how amazingly good it is at adding stabilization to your shots. If you guys are ever out in an environment where you want to test this outside, you're riding, you got it strapped to your head. They make head straps, they make chest straps, they make foot straps. You can strap this to your bike or whatever you like. And it's just amazingly stable. So I wanted you guys to see that. So let's talk a little bit about the GoPro. Well, it includes the Hero 11 black camera, the carrying case, as you guys seen, Enduro rechargeable battery. Uh, it's got a curved adhesion mounts, which you guys seen there. That'll allow you to mount it on a handlebar or something of those uh, sorts. Uh, it's got the buckle and the thumb screw, which allows you to mount it to different applications, different devices. We mount it on selfie sticks. You can mount it on a helmet, a chest, uh, there's a chest mount for it, foot mounts for it, all kinds and tons of mounts for this thing. If you guys want to take it out and adventure with it. It's got a larger new image sensor that delivers an immersive extra large field of view. It does cinematic 5.3K at 60 frames per second, which is just awesome. It does 2.7K 240 video with 24.7 megapixel stills from the video itself. It's got a 27 megapixel high resolution photos. That is just so amazing for this little tiny device, right? Um, Emmy award winning on the Hypersmooth. That's the stabilization with the horizontal lock. It's waterproof to 33 plus feet, which is built really tough to do that because that's rec depth. I mean, that's the bottom depth you're going to go as a recreational diver. So you can take some great shots. Uh, micro SD card is required, but definitely not included with the uh, price. 
uh, $399.98. It's originally $550, but they're running a sale right now. I'll leave a description down below so you guys can get your very own. Other than that, guys, that is it for the GoPro video. This thing is awesome. We're going to take some other shots. We're going to take some other videos with this thing. We love to be outdoors, and we love to take shots like that, but we can also use these things as regular filming cameras because they are that good. You're not going to find a 5K camera like this for the price. I mean, just looking at the price alone, we're, we're definitely there as far as quality versus how much it costs. So I highly recommend this thing. If you guys like this video, make sure to mash the like button. Also subscribe to the channel. Helps YouTube's algorithms get our videos out there. And you might want to check our uh, GoPro gimbal video out next. That's going to show you a really cool gimbal that you can get with this thing. It'll pair really, really nice. And you'll be able to take some excellent, excellent shots with even more stabilization and tracking. How cool is that? All right. Until the next video. Later, guys.